Welcome in to the USL Pro Weekend Preview. My name is Nicholas Murray. Very pleased to be joined by David Wagner. And David, three very interesting games coming up this weekend, starting with Friday night's game between Orlando City as they visit the Charleston Battery. Now, Orlando, in a situation they're not used to, they're winless in their last two games. They took a 2-2 draw against Wilmington on Wednesday night. Charleston, on the other hand, had a full week of rest. They're keyed up, and they've got a chance to gain ground here. Should be a very entertaining game indeed. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Obviously, Orlando coming off the loss last weekend, and then a tough draw the other day where they were up and then gave it up late. Um, coming in definitely are looking for, for a win in this situation. We all know what they're capable of, of offensively, but they haven't really shown that to get it clicking on a consistent basis now, combined with the solid defense that we know them for. So it's going to be an interesting coming one coming in for them. I think for their... Where they are, I think for a, from a confidence standpoint, this has to be a three points for them to get back on a roll. If they don't, there's the opening here for a team like the Richmond Kickers, yep. who play on Saturday night against the Dayton Dutch Lions to get maybe top spot in the division. Now, this is an interesting game because Richmond's coming in. They are undefeated this season. Dayton, on the other hand, undefeated in 10 straight games yep. now. And more importantly for this game, They've only lost once in their last 16 games at home yep. going back to last season. This is a very tough game for the Kickers. Yeah, tricky place to play. Obviously, they get the nice win yesterday there against Rochester. Um, look, they're the type of team that could do anything in any game. Uh, they, they, they know how to go forward. They know how to counterattack quickly. So they can turn a, a situation where they might be, be, you know, not really getting much offense in the game, flip it on its head and go forward and score a goal out of the middle of nowhere. So the, the way that they're playing right now, the level of confidence that they must have, um, it's going to be a difficult place for them to go into and try to get a point. That forward trio of Eli Garner, Tjerd Vestdijk, and Gibson Barsley certainly really seem to be clicking right now, had a big role in that win against the Rhinos on Thursday. Yep. Now, also on Saturday night, very big game in Pittsburgh. We had Pittsburgh just saw its 10-game undefeated streak end. Mm -hmm. Los Angeles just snapped a five-game winless streak with a very good win. Yep. But now they've got to come to the East Coast, and this is a battle for eighth place right now in the playoffs. Huge yeah. game as far as the overall season is concerned. Yeah, obviously a great result for Los Angeles going the other way, too, with a win, and then Pittsburgh losing yesterday to Charlotte, which was a great performance by them. Pittsburgh's going to be hungry to come back in and try to get re three points and reestablish themselves and be that, that team that's played so well as of late. Um, at the same time, Los Angeles has to be a, at a very high confidence level right now coming in after a complete demolition the other day. Of, uh, of Antigua so both teams should be coming in two different mindsets one coming in on a high one of them coming in looking to get back where they were very good very good performance last night by Chris Cortez and then Matt Fondy coming in his debut yep. this season for getting the club goal. getting a couple of goals yep. very impressive so certainly could be some goals in that one too we hope you'll join us for all of the action on USL Nation both tonight and on Saturday night for David my name's Nicholas hope you enjoy the games have a great weekend